dust billowed, kicked up by heavy hooves. Welcome to this amazing channel seat down and grab a cup of coffee as you enjoy this amazing stories. The setting sun cast long shadows across the savanna. A lone acacia tree stood sentinel, its branches a silhouette against the fiery sky. Hidden in the tall grass, a pair of golden eyes glinted. The lioness, muscles taut, lowered her body closer to the earth. Her gaze remained fixed on the approaching herd. Dust swirled around massive, dark forms. Cape buffalo, their horns like curved scimitars moved with an air of untroubled power. The lioness, a seasoned hunter, knew better than to underestimate these giants. She waited, patience a virtue honed by generations of instinct. The wind shifted, carrying the scent of water. The herd, thirsty after a long day grazing, lumbered toward a nearby watering hole. This was her chance. With a silent signal to her pride, concealed in the nearby brush, the lioness tensed. The hunt was on. The African buffalo, a symphony in black muscle and horn, is no easy prey. A bull can weigh over 2,000 pounds, its massive head crowned with a boss, a thick shield of bone that deflects even the fiercest blows. Their horns, sharp and curved, can reach over three feet in length, capable of impaling a lion with terrifying ease. These are not solitary creatures, they move in herds, dozens strong, sometimes hundreds. Their unity is their strength. Young calves are protected within the center while the outer edges are guarded by vigilant adults. Woe betide the predator who underestimates the sheer power of a buffalo herd. But the lion too is a creature of immense power and cunning, the king of the savannah built for speed and strength. Their tawny coats blend seamlessly with the golden grasslands allowing them to stalk their prey unseen. Lions are ambush predators relying on surprise and teamwork to bring down their quarry. Their jaws, capable of crushing bone, deliver a bite force of over 600 pounds per square inch. Their claws, retractable and razor sharp, are formidable weapons. In the eternal battle for survival, both lion and buffalo are formidable opponents locked in a deadly dance. The lioness exploded from the grass, a blur of tawny muscle. Her target, a young buffalo, separated from the herd in the chaos of the ambush. The buffalo, caught off guard, bellowed in fear and surprise. The ground trembled as the herd, reacting with instinctive fury, wheeled to protect their own. The lioness, adrenaline surging, lunged, her teeth sank into the buffalo's flank. The buffalo, larger and stronger, fought back with desperate fury. It bucked and twisted, trying to shake off its attacker. The air filled with the sounds of battle. The lioness's snarls, the buffalo's bellows of pain and rage. Dust rose in choking clouds as the two creatures, locked in mortal combat, crashed through the undergrowth. The rest of the pride, sensing an opportunity, moved in. Lions fanned out, flanking the struggling pair, their eyes cold and calculating. The hunt, once a silent stalk, had erupted into a chaotic melee. One lioness leaped, aiming for the buffalo's back, hoping to bring the beast down, but the buffalo, sensing the danger, swung its massive head. Horns caught the lioness in the chest, tossing her aside like a rag doll. She landed heavily, the wind knocked out of her, the other lions, undeterred, pressed their attack. A large male lion, his mane a dark halo, saw an opening. He circled behind the buffalo, his powerful legs propelling him forward in a burst of speed. The buffalo, distracted by the lioness clinging to its side, didn't see the danger until it was too late. The male lion lunged, jaws clamping down on the buffalo's throat. The buffalo bellowed, a sound filled with pain and terror. It thrashed its head, trying to dislodge the lion's grip. But the lion held on with grim determination, its powerful legs digging into the ground for leverage. The other lions, sensing victory, closed in, their growls a chilling chorus. The savanna, bathed in the golden light of the setting sun became a stage for a desperate struggle. The buffalo, its strength ebbing, fought with the ferocity of the dam. It swung its head, its horns a whirlwind of death. One lion caught off guard was flung into the air landing with a sickening thud, but the lions were relentless. They harried the buffalo, their attacks becoming more coordinated. One would distract, drawing the buffalo's attention, while another would dart in, delivering a bite to its haunches or flanks. The air grew thick with the metallic scent of blood. The buffalo, its once shiny coat now matted with blood and dust, was tiring. Its movements became slower, its bellows weaker. The lions, sensing the end was near, grew bolder. They moved closer, their eyes gleaming with anticipation. The hunt, 
once a test of skill and cunning was entering its final, brutal act. The male lion, still clamped onto the buffalo's throat, felt the creature's struggles weaken. He held on, his own body aching with fatigue, until finally, the buffalo went limp. Silence descended upon the savanna, broken only by the panting of the lions. The hunt was over. Victory, however, came at a cost. One lioness lay motionless on the ground, her chest crushed by the buffalo's horn. Another limped away, a deep gash on its flank a testament to the buffalo's ferocity. The savanna, once a battleground, now bore the scars of conflict. The surviving lions, their hunger momentarily sated, gathered around the fallen buffalo. They lapped at its wounds, their tongues rough against its hide. The cycle of life and death, predator and prey, played out under the vast indifferent sky. The African savanna, a vast expanse of grasslands and acacia woodlands, is a stage where the drama of life and death unfolds daily. It is a land of stark beauty, where the scorching sun beats down upon a landscape painted in hues of gold, brown, and green. Here the laws of nature are harsh and unforgiving. Survival is a constant struggle, a delicate balance between predator and prey. The lion, apex predator, reigns supreme, yet even its dominion is challenged by creatures like the Cape Buffalo. These massive herbivores with their formidable horns and unwavering herd loyalty are a force to be reckoned with. The clash between lion and buffalo is a primal battle, a testament to the raw power and instinct that drive these creatures. It is a spectacle that has been repeated countless times over millennia, a reminder of the brutal yet beautiful cycle of life and death that governs the natural world. For the lion, hunger is a constant companion. It drives them to hunt, to risk life and limb in pursuit of prey. They are opportunistic carnivores, their diet consisting primarily of large mammals like zebra, wildebeest, and of course, buffalo. A single lion can consume over 7 kilograms of meat in one sitting, but they can go for days without eating if necessary. When prey is scarce, competition within the pride intensifies. The dominant male, easily identified by his thick mane, eats first, followed by the females and cubs. This hierarchy ensures the survival of the strongest members of the pride, perpetuating the genes that make them successful hunters. The buffalo, too, are driven by an insatiable hunger. They are grazers, spending the majority of their day consuming vast quantities of grass. Their digestive systems are specifically designed to break down this tough plant matter, extracting the nutrients they need to fuel their massive bodies. In the aftermath of the hunt, a strange stillness settles over the savanna. The lions, exhausted but victorious, begin to feed. Their powerful jaws rip through tough hide and bone, their tongues lapping up the blood and flesh. The air, heavy with the scent of death, attracts scavengers from miles around. Vultures, their bald heads gleaming in the fading light, circle overhead, waiting for their turn at the carcass. Hyenas, their eerie calls echoing across the plains, approach cautiously, hoping to snatch a morsel. Even the smallest creatures, insects and bacteria, play their part in the circle of life, breaking down the remains and returning nutrients to the soil. The death of the buffalo, while tragic, is not in vain. It provides sustenance for the lions and numerous other creatures, ensuring the continuation of their own species. The savanna, a seemingly harsh and unforgiving environment, is in fact a complex web of interconnected life where every creature plays a vital role. As darkness descends, the lions, their bellies full, begin to drift away from the kill site. They leave behind a scattering of bones, picked clean and bleached white by the sun. These remnants, a stark reminder of the battle that took place, will soon be reclaimed by the earth. The savanna, ever resilient, will absorb the nutrients from the carcass, nourishing new life. The grass will grow greener, the trees taller, fueled by the cycle of life and death. The memory of the fallen buffalo will live on, not in some grand monument, but in the very fabric of the ecosystem. And what of the lions? They will hunt again, driven by the same primal instincts that have ensured their survival for millennia. They are both majestic and terrifying, a symbol of the raw power and beauty of the natural world. Their story, like that of the buffalo, is woven into the tapestry of the savanna, a testament to the enduring power of nature. 
The battle between lion and buffalo is not simply a clash of titans, it is a microcosm of the intricate balance that governs all life on Earth. It is a reminder that death, while tragic, is an essential part of the natural order. It is through death that life is renewed, the cycle continuing in an unbroken chain. The savanna, with its harsh beauty and unforgiving laws, teaches us valuable lessons about survival, resilience, and the interconnectedness of all living things. It is a place where life and death dance together in a delicate and awe-inspiring waltz. And as long as the sun rises and sets over the African plains, this ancient dance will continue, a testament to the enduring power of nature. The dust settles, the wind whispers through the grass, and the savanna forever changed yet eternally the same, stands as a testament to the circle of life. A circle that encompasses both the hunter and the hunted, the victor and the vanquished in a grand and timeless narrative. A narrative that reminds us of our own place within the web of life, and the importance of respecting and preserving the delicate balance of the natural world. Thank you for watching this amazing story. Welcome back for more stories about nature.